Testing one two, testing one two, testing. Check check one two, test test one two three. <laughs> okay, there we go. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. I was gone for like a week. <laughs> I know. And the the internet imploded. And now. It's the Still Unnamed Podcast. With your hosts, Pete and Mark. Hey kids, and welcome to another exciting edition. Edition? Another exciting edition. <laughs> Woo! Good of to be back. Still Unnamed Podcast. Warm welcome. I'm, uh, I'm Pete. <laughs> I'm Petey Zalas along with Mark Sticks Rodriguez. He's back. Sticks is back. Why, why Sticks? I don't know. Like I a was, drummer? Well, actually, I was thinking about it. I was looking around and I was like, oh, maybe I could be Mark Hockey Sticks. But that makes even less sense. Yeah, that makes no sense. I'm, I mean, I'm going for like a daredevil vibe. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Welcome back, dude. Thanks. How's it going? It's go. It's going all right. It's going all right. The uh, This past episode... Um, I, I, I would say that you were missed, um, but I'd be lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, I mean, when you have a very charming young lady on, I imagine that I'm not very well missed. <laughs> well, you weren't missed by me, but I mean, I did get some, some questions like, Hey, where's Mark? Is Mark okay? What, what's what? going on? Yeah. That's bullshit. And I don't appreciate it. <laughs> you are lying to my fucking face. I couldn't even <laughs> look at you. You know why I knew? Why? Because in the episode, you go, oh, Mark's out doing Mother's Day right. stuff. So no one would say, <laughs> is he okay? Where, where's Mark? Is he okay? <laughs> Is he, is he hurt? So F you and F I'm, all the I'm unloyal trying, Mark listeners. <laughs> I'm trying to make you feel better that you were missed and people asked about you. Oh. Well, but they, they didn't, I guess, because <laughs> I made a good, I made, I made it clear. You sold it too much. <laughs> too many details. Just a little bit. But anyway, we're back. We're rocking and rolling on this uh, Taco Tuesday morning. Um, it has been, it's been a week since we've talked. What has happened so many things. There's so many things I want to talk about. First off, I want to talk about how hair... Harley. <laughs> I have a daughter named Harley, not Harley. Harley. I have a daughter named Harley. She... I don't know if you saw Alyssa's Facebook status on, like, Monday, but she scared the shit out of us. Oh, yes. She was being textbook creepy little girl. <laughs> like, classic <laughs> creepy little girl. Right. Like, okay, this is, this is what happened. So I'm there. I'm in the living room, and then Harley... Is, is having a conversation with an imaginary friend, which is something newish, but, I mean, it's not unheard of. Kids have imaginary friends. Okay. Um, until she starts calling him by name, which is Aded. Aded. And it sounds a lot like all dead. <laughs> okay. It's just so creepy the way she was like, Aded. And, like, she was, Alyssa was telling me, like, yeah, I had to deal with that shit today. She was saying like, "Oh, this is Aded," or Aded. Has she ever done anything like that? Any, any pulled any of those? Uh, well, know, I mean, imaginary she, friend stuff. Not really, but I mean, we play pretend all the time. Like mm-hmm. we'll play with her action figures or ponies. But <laughs> okay. Um. So she, it's it's not out of character for her to imagine. Okay, but she's never done that. She's one on one talking with the. She's uh, never an created empty chair. some somebody else and like. She was saying, oh, Aded, he's my friend. Sometimes he's in my room with me mm-hmm. at night. Mm-hmm. And I was like, fucking shit, this is scary. Well, I had been meaning to, to actually bring that up to you guys. I just, I haven't, I haven't really gotten a chance to, to hang with you guys. Because um, um, I think I saw a ghost uh, in, the last, in the last week or so. With, in the vicinity? Or out yes. in the world, oh, fucking shit, Pete. Yeah, I live around the yeah, world. Yeah, here, here, here in the compound. I'm, I'm not, I'm not kidding, and I'm not embellishing. This is not like a "Hey, everyone missed you" type of type of lie that I'm trying to pull. <laughs> well, before you go into that, let me just real quick one uh-huh. more uh, exclamation point. I'm going to put at the end of this story, not okay. a period. Uh, we, we, I, I kind of wanted to stop talking about this with Harley, and she kept on talking, and she's like, "Oh yeah," and her mom's here. Uh, his mom's here. That explains it. Okay, go ahead. Fucking shit, Pete. Yeah, go ahead. I got chills when she said that. Your mo- her, his mom's here, and I'm like, R- where is she? Oh, she's she's in the room with Dexter. She's sleeping with him. Wow. 
and at that point, I got chills all over my body. My nips got hard. <laughs> I was just like, I legitimately have never thought it, but I thought it that in that moment, like. I gotta fucking move. Right. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> this is it. This is poltergeist territory. This oh. is that we are hunted, and we gotta get out of here. Well, I mean that we we've always had feelings, and and it's always felt like there's been some sort of a presence here in in my parents' house. Um, you know, ever since we moved in, but. It, it's just it's starting to spike again. I don't know what's happening, but it's Harley. I'm, I'm I'm feeling. It. I think Harley is is you know conjuring She's a vessel. <laughs> She's doing something. Um, I am I'm not kidding, and this is fresh. I haven't talked to you about this at all. This is brand new. Um, my nips are starting to get hard again. <laughs> one one evening, uh, I had Quentin here, so it, it it wasn't a weekend. It was during the week, so it had to have been a Wednesday, Thursday, or a Friday. I'm I'm not too sure, but it was last week. Um, so I, I put him to sleep in his room and I went back to my room to go, you know, watch TV and stuff and just kind of unwind. And I, I forgot what the hell I'm watching. Oh, Arrested Development. Mm-hmm. And you're, <laughs> what is this like your 19th time running I, I, through the show? Dude, it's, it's my, it's like my comfort food. I it just, <laughs> it makes me feel good. Um, cause this past week's been kind of, you know, anyway, that's not the point. Um, well, so I'm kind of dozing in and out and I'm falling asleep and, you know, it's it's that anyone who's familiar with Netflix knows that, like, if you let it play like three episodes in a row, it'll ask you before it plays the fourth one. Hey, are you still watching this? Would yeah. you like to continue? We have to pay for every time this airs. Please don't be asleep. <laughs> so I I must have been dozing in and out of, of sleep. Consciousness. Because I woke up. I woke up to the screen on my tv and it said would you like to continue watching so i sleepily sleepily grabbed my my remote and i just turned off my television and i went back to sleep and what felt like 35 40 seconds later my bedroom door opened and i saw a woman walk into my room fucking shit it was a it was a short woman i could not tell the age but she was she was a short woman with kind of shortish hair like yeah. short cropped hair and uh I, as soon as i as soon as i opened my eyes and i remember i was half asleep uh-huh. i saw this figure walk into my room i stood up like bolted out of yeah, bed yeah fight or flight what the fuck is going on and i walked directly towards her towards my towards my bedroom door yeah and i it's like I walked through her oh. and I, I just opened the door and I just went directly into Quentin's room to just check on him. Uh huh. And like, I was like, forget this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. And I just went over there and then he was sound asleep, sound asleep in his room. Oh, fuck but shit. I swear to you, Mark, I, I, there was a female figure standing in my room that opened my door and I walked through it in order wow. just to go make sure my son was okay. Oh shit. That that just happened last week. True story. That's terrifying. This shit is lining up too perfectly. <laughs> we gotta get somebody's grandma here to come bless our house. Right. We need we need the like the little what's her name the the Zelda Rubenstein <laughs> oh. to walk in. This house. That's I'm yeah, not I was waiting. You know, I was gonna do it, and then I, I looked at you, and you were I was, you were I was, changing your image, your like, face, charging and you were, up. And, then, and nope. then, then you just get wah, 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 wah. Yeah, never mind. You try it. Uh, I think it's kind of like this house is clean. Nope, that wasn't me. <laughs> By the way, those people listening, Pete, that was terrible. That was Mark's second attempt. I'm not even going to do it anymore. Uh, but yes, because I nailed it. Nailed it. We need one of those little, those little creepy, you know, blessed ladies who come in and try and clean the house. Maximum of four, six right. height. <laughs> exactly. Any taller and you're a liar. I mean, your mom, would she do something like that? I My mean, mom probably she's could. Fairly, she's a religious She's woman, religious, so, yeah. I mean, she would, she would probably know what to do, right? Don't they like burn sage? She'd probably call someone. Oh. I was thinking about this the other day. It seems like, um... For the most part, grandmas were the one that knew how to do all that stuff. Right. And all the grandmas are dying off. Yeah, that, that old generation of grandmas. Yeah. Like, like, my mom doesn't 
doesn't believe or no. do that or whatever. Like so. if 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 Quentin gets sick, who's gonna rub an egg all over his face? Exactly. That's. Uh, have you ever had that done to you? Yes, several it, times. It feels good. It's it, nice it, and cool it's on nice your hot cool body. It makes you feel better. Yeah, a little bit. But yeah, I, and I, then you crack it, and I swear that it's been red. <laughs> that's what it usually is. That's what people say. Yeah, I, I haven't had that done since. Wow, man, since I was maybe Quentin's age. Yeah, I, I had to have been maybe 26. Just kidding. Yeah? I'm just kidding. So, yeah, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, well, no, I mean, I'm glad you brought that up because I, it's been it's been nagging at me on the back of my mind that I, I knew I needed to talk to you guys about something. I just haven't had a chance to. So, I mean, what better time than right now? Because you brought it up and it, it reminded me. And, uh, yeah, true story. Um, I was not... Uh, you know, I was not intoxicated. I was not on, you know, anything. Well, it was a school night. It was a school night. And, um, yeah, definitely. My, I mean, you know that the, the, the door, my, my door sticks. Yeah. Like, it, it's hard it's, to open yes. once in a while. So that thing made that popping noise. Uh-huh. Like, it's kind of wedged in there. Right. It's like, it's a wooden door. So it's, it, it, I don't know. It just kind of like warps once in a while. Yeah. The house frame and right. So like it's got, it needs some force behind it in order to open it once in a while. So it made that <laughs> popping noise. And that's what woke me up, made me look towards my door. There's a, there's a woman standing there and I just completely like, I fucking just bum rushed her. <laughs> I mean, oh my God. I'm like, trying i'm i'm shaking my head and i'm smiling like no this is probably true but i'm just smiling it off because mm-hmm. i'm a terrified person afraid of all things spiritual <laughs> so we'll we'll see we'll yeah. see what happens but yeah it's it's kind of strange that now it's a at least according to my story and your daughter's story it's a it's a mother and child combo fuck because that that's never been that way it's always been one spirit yeah and it was the old lady it was mm-hmm. mrs boney mrs is, boney right could be her again i don't know i don't know although your mom is always very quick to tell anybody that's willing to <laughs> right here let me tell you about mrs boney yeah, she keeps her her legacy alive mm-hmm. but i don't know man it's creepy shit yep creepy creepy shit Let's see. What else? On a lighter note, uh, I bought Alyssa for Mother's Day, half for me because I really like cooking, <laughs> a stand mixer. What is that? A stand mixer. It's like uh, you, you've seen those little, like egg, like not egg beaters, but those little to k- mix cakes. No. no. <laughs> I mean, maybe you've seen them. <laughs> but yeah, happy Mother's Day, Alyssa. <laughs> right. <laughs> To to mix all the eggs and the cake mix and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. The oh, okay. Okay. Well, we got we have a stand mixer where you put the bowl in and it has like a head on there and it it mixes it all. It trust me, it's the tits. Okay. It's <laughs> legit and those are like upwards of like three hundred dollars. Wow. And yeah. You spent that. Yeah. Jesus. Are For you guys gonna be making cakes now and shit? No. So what are you gonna make? Well, because that. She she also was like, you're stupid. Do not get this. We can't afford it. I'm like, yeah, we're doing pretty good in life. <laughs> so I said, this is not a purchase that we do like every year. This is not like a cell phone that we buy every two years maybe. Right. This is a one-time purchase, and this brand is legit. It, it's, it can stay for perhaps generations. Okay. And she is the baker in the family, you're aware. Yes. So... She can do that, and she doesn't have to borrow your mom's whatever the fuck it's called. It's a mixer. Like I a mean, mix. That's, that's exactly. All it is. It's, it's a mixer. Just, it's like a handheld mixer. It's a mixer. But this one instead is a, like, how many times can we say mixer? <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's, let's. It's, it's but, a legit badass stand mixer. Like professional grade? It's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? You can make like a tub of cakes. A okay. small barrel of well, cakes. Well, now I'm going to expect multiple cakes to come out of that house well your birthday is coming up pretty oh, soon oh no it's not <laughs> i mean <laughs> dude well, i have i let's let's talk birthdays real quick okay um <laughs> <laughs> i have grown to hate hate birthdays that's I, I just, understandable i just have i've i've grown to um not look forward to them. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the last time that I actually have looked forward to a birthday. Um, 
but I'm definitely not looking forward to this one. Yeah. And I don't know exactly where it is that I lost that 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 passion. Like I think it's like a flip of a switch. Like from one year to the next, you're like, my birthday's coming, my birthday's coming, and then the next year it's like, fucking birthday's coming. You know, like and that's yeah. where I'm like, you know, Eeyore. <laughs> 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 it's just another year. You know that type that was of thing. a pretty good Eeyore. Thank you, thank you. Um, how, what what do you you you're still you're still excited about birthdays? No, actually, I hate my birthday. I hate, dude. Birth- I've known you for five years or so. Yes, I mean, have you ever Christmas? I fucking love right. Birthdays. Have you ever seen me like? Oh yeah, my birthday's coming up. <laughs> no, I I haven't. I haven't seen that. But I I know the year it happened. What year? Was when it? I was like. Fuck birthdays. I don't know the year. I lied. But I remember the moment. It was, um, gosh, I want to say I was I was young, maybe anywhere between 7 and 10 years old. Okay. And uh, it was my birthday, and I was excited because for the most part, birthdays are supposed to be your day. It's your birthday. You we This day is special for you. Right. And uh, I, I wanted to go to the movies, and I wanted to, like have some food and i wanted to have like a little whatever Mm -hmm. and all we did that day was uh we went to the movies and uh, i think my love of christmas kind of puts uh my birthday at a disadvantage but i mean that's kind of strange just on that point because your birthday is kind of halfway point between christmas yeah it should be so it should be like christmas too for you considering Mm -hmm. how festive you are yes However, my brother is 20 days after my birthday, his birthday. Okay. Christmas, we could get like six gifts each. On birthdays, maybe we get one. Okay. And as a kid, you just want all the gifts. Correct. And when I would get one, as petty and as childish as this is, <laughs> I was a child and I only got one gift and I was, I was disappointed and I, and I realized, I'm like, I'm getting disappointed on my birthday. It seems to happen every year. I'm going to stop looking forward to my birthday. I'm going to stop bringing up my expectations so that I could just get them shot down. Okay. And I- that's how I've been for years. Like, Alyssa, bless her heart. She, she, she tries and she, she that's achieves. That's the thing. Yes, I, I, I know you were going with that point, so I was waiting for you to get there. But she is, she is very... Um, dude, she's a good... She's a good partner when it comes to, to those type of things. Like the she best gift giver. She I've, plans uh, uh-huh. for a while, you know, and she's gotten me involved in the past with certain things. I, I can't think of anything right now, but I know she's like, she'll she'll call and she'll be like, hey. Well, she threw a surprise birthday party for me one year. When was that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, I was 22, 23. Oh, it was a while ago. Yeah, it was okay. It was a while ago. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, she'll like call me and she'll be like, so what about this? And is this cool? And like, is, would, would, does, would he want this? And I'm like, yeah, I would want it. And my birthday. No, he, <laughs> she's a fantastic gift giver. Uh, she, she's the one that introduced me to, hey, for Valentine's Day, you don't have to give just freaking chocolates and a bear. Mm-hmm. She like gave me a gift for Valentine's Day. I'm like, you can just give what they want right it doesn't have to be like stereotypical flowers and chocolate exactly and strawberries so she's amazing at that however i have been left with such a sour taste in my mouth for all birthdays it's 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 a struggle for me to uh look forward to and not expect that slight disappointment Mm -hmm. of a birth like a failed birthday yeah because, like I said, my brother's birthday is 20 days after. So as soon as my birthday is over, it's immediately preparing for his birthday. Or on many occasions, we've shared a birthday party, mm. which is absolutely terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's the worst. Because it's not your day. It's your two's day. It's like day. a split day. And yeah, exactly. I, I, when Elisa was on here a few months ago, she was talking about that, that you know, her and her sister have to, or have had to share a birthday in the past and that that's just complete bullshit. It's, it sucks. Yeah. It sucks the big ones. So, but yeah, no, I, I, I rarely look forward to my birthday. Um, I think that I've had, I've had people in the past really, really try to, um, try and get me excited about it. Yeah. But it, it never really, never really happens for me. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know why. It's because we're Geminis. Is that why? No. <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah. Let's just say it's because we're Geminis. And Deuces. Yeah. Deuces are wild. <laughs> um, hey, I think we got a title. Woo! <laughs> anyway. Um, That's my Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I had a really good 30th birthday. That awesome. was... Uh, that was pretty cool between my my mom and my sister and edna they uh they really wanted to put something nice together for me so i had that that thor themed party because i'm thorty <laughs> i turned <laughs> i turned thorty it was a it was a good it was a good time that's super cute i'm that just was, gonna say it it was a it was a fun night i was i was expecting it, it wasn't a surprise party but I honestly, truth be told, I wasn't looking forward to it. But then after the fact, I I ended up having a good time. I had that's great. I had all my friends here. I had everyone that you know that yeah, I I'm cared about. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. So, Don't expect anything like that. No, no, of course not. I'm I'm hardly expecting anything actually. I I've maybe that's it. It's like, is it because the older you get, a of course you start feeling the age and yeah. you know that that whole thing. But at the same time. When you're a kid or when you're younger and you, d- you depend on your parents to buy you everything, um, or other people, rather, to buy you everything, you're genuinely looking forward to getting something that you want. Yeah. But once you're older and you're making your own money and stuff, and it's like, you know, I, I could, I'll just buy it myself. Exactly. I'll just get it myself. I don't, like, oh, I got a one, one uh, I think it was a birthday or Christmas. I, I think it was a Christmas. I got a Nintendo 64. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, I got a Nintendo 64. And then, oh, yeah, by the way, I got a PlayStation 4. Yes. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so you, you See, just... See, that's, that's the other thing. Like, that would have been a good gift it would from, have been great. From, from Alyssa, but you went and you bought it yourself. And Like a selfish asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, there is a Nintendo... I'm sorry. There is a PlayStation 4 on the premises. So that's cool. That's cool. But we're talking about birthdays, mm-hmm. and uh, they suck. Yeah. So, yes, my birthday is this month, and uh, I don't even know what day it is now, so I couldn't tell you how when it is, but it's it's pretty soon. It's, it's around the corner, and I'm going to be 33, and yikes. Yeah. So. Also, I'm sorry, I, was, I, I forgot. I was going to mention another thing about being a child and, and getting a birthday is you have so many things to look forward to. If you're mm-hmm. n- one through nine, oh, I'm going to be 10. That's like a, a legitimate, that's a big double digits number. That's a milestone. Oh, right, right. If you're, if you're 10 and then looking forward into the future in the Hispanic culture, it's quinceanera. You turn 16 or 15 rather <laughs> in, in white culture. It's in sweet, six, sweet 16. And right. that's another big milestone. Cause also uh, 16 you can start driving now right that's great you can look forward to that when you're when you're 16 you can turn 18 hey you know what I can do when I turn 18 <gasps> vote <laughs> that's what I was so excited for <laughs> I can't imagine many 18 year olds like just counting like putting X's on their calendar like today's the day <laughs> I get to fucking vote I get, I get to vote <laughs> but anyway yeah no yeah. I get I get your point I get your point and like and now it's just it, it really has become like another year um I know that there's some there's some people like some like more more women more so than men who like they want to go all out for their birthday like even if they have to plan it themselves yeah and I mean that's cool if if that's that's what you like I mean yeah. but I I don't like a big deal made about it mm. I, I I don't I don't know it's it's I'm a lot of stick pre- in the mud you know what it is also it's a lot of pressure for you you to love it yes because. Th- people are working so hard for you and and they want to be and they want to feel like hey you did a great job right and uh sometimes it's just like yes you did a really good job but you're you're looking for this one individual this birthday boy or girl to to just like give the same enthusiasm that a five-year-old would and that's Mm -hmm. not possible from an adult yeah so i mean it birthday honestly has become more so for me in the last few years um i just i know that like i'm gonna get like my lunches like free lunch all week from <laughs> from different you know sales people and different people that i work with and uh different contacts i have in the media mm-hmm. they're they're they love that and i mean b- birthday lunches are or in abundance <laughs> that week so at the very least i know i'm gonna 
I'm going to stock up on Feast some... Feast like a king. Yes, that there will be several... We're going to shut down several Chinese places that week. Nice. Let's put it that way. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe someday. Maybe it's a, it's maybe it's cyclical, and we'll just we'll come back around, and and I'll I'll start enjoying birthdays again. Maybe starting this year. Let's let's have some optimism. I'm gonna I'm gonna be hopeful that. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I'm sorry. I just Why I don't. You're laughing right now. Yeah, in my because face. I don't believe you. Because <laughs> when you were like, yeah, maybe one year I'll start, and I was like, yeah, maybe when we're seventy. Because <laughs> then we're like, yeah, we beat another two people right. that died. That is true. Uh, I don't know, but that's cool. Birthdays. Yours yeah. is in June. Yours is in May. It sure is. I don't know, man. Yeah, cake. <laughs> is that what we're talking about? Yeah, oh, we're talking about mixing. Okay. <laughs> mixing, yes. Uh, so I fully plan to 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 see many cakes coming out of that uh, that kitchen. As you should, sir. Yes. What kind of cake do you want? I don't know. I was asked that the other day, actually, by by Jay. Jay asked me that. She's a she's a baker, and she was like, "So, what kind of she cake do you want?" Smokes weed every day. Like she's wake and bake. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, it I, really ruins the joke when I have to explain. Well, it. I, I didn't know what you meant. It's like, are, are we oh, talking about the same Jay? Like, like sm- J- Jay? Jay and Silent Bob? A Jay? No, come on <laughs> now. <laughs> It's because when I did the little weed sign, my fingers were right in front of the mic. So you're like, what are you doing? Yeah, sucking yeah. a small dick? <laughs> That's what it looked like. And, uh, you just made like a... <laughs> Well, what is that noise? Like a I don't fucking know how sprinkler? to suck a dick. Maybe that's how you suck a dick. You go. We're not talking about sucking a dick. We're talking about smoking a joint, a okay. metaphorical that joint. Also, I don't know how to God. do. Well, then don't fucking try it. I voted <laughs> when you were eighteen. <laughs> Woo! So excited to turn eighteen. Anyways, cakes. Cake. Anyway, yeah. No, I. I don't. I don't know. I. I've always been a fan of of yellow cake with chocolate frosting and it is simply and i've any uh, people have know this about me it's based on a movie okay and there is a scene in the andy kaufman uh, biopic with jim carrey called man on the moon where he is at a like a production meeting or something a business meeting and they're all trying to talk to him seriously and he's just fucking sitting there eating a giant delicious looking <laughs> Slice a cake with with yellow, with yellow uh, bread, bread and chocolate frosting, and that always that is what I think of when I think of cake. Yeah, like that's the image I have in my head. Just kind of like when I think of donuts, I think of Homer eating like a sprinkled <laughs> donut. Yeah, even though I don't like sprinkles on my donuts, I just prefer regular glazed, regular glazed. Yeah, but when I think of donut, I always have to think of you that. think uh, pink frosting right. and sprinkles uh, exactly rainbow of sprinkles. So it's weird how things, you know, that's that's the image that we have in our head. But yeah, I I like, I I I'd like a yellow cake with chocolate frosting, and a big glass of milk. I'm sorry, I don't like milk. Why you gotta ruin it? I'm sorry. Why you gotta ruin it? Because even the word milk, it, the k, the k sounds just thick coming out of your mouth. Milk. <laughs> God. I'm a strange one. You are. I'm a card. A joke is wild. <laughs> Milk. Also, Coke. Those two cuz sounds. They're just so thick. K- 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 I mean, I'm, this is sweet beatbox. Let's beatbox. <laughs> <laughs> we should have done a fat ass spitting fire. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, nope, not even going to no, try No, let's not try it. I'm we're sitting here with Pete, and we're doing a podcast. You know we're the best, and you know this podcast is going to last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here on the mic. They call me Sticks. I'm the number one because I got off at, and here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that I actually I looked forward to this today. <laughs> I can see why. I'm a I'm I'm a delight to be around. <laughs> you know what comments I have gotten a lot what? <laughs> recently about you is like <laughs> that people can imagine since this is this is podcast, this is radio, this is theater of the mind, there's no video to go along with it, that people <laughs> have had so much fun 
imagining my face <laughs> that I make when you go off on one of these little fucking tangents. <laughs> like, it's a mixture of, like, confusion and anger and just, like, I want to choke him. <laughs> and uh, that makes people laugh. You know what? I've had similar comments. Just, I can see, they're, they're talking to me, they can see me being very animated right on the mic doing my little bits or mm-hmm. skits or whatever i right. do well you are very animated yeah, I mean, i'm a I, very animated i had to person. move all of those toys <laughs> around you because you swing wildly i do I, oh speaking of swinging wildly i broke a candy dish at, <laughs> at, at work um it was it was after hours and i was walking from one side of the building to the other and there is a there's one of the one of the assistants that sits there right by the entranceway uh, she has a candy dish that she puts on her on <laughs> I'm her sorry. desk. I'm I'm a very visual thinker. It's it's fantastic. Go on. And uh, for some unbeknown reason, she puts that fucker at the edge of the desk. Mm-mm-mm. Right. So it's like welcoming to everybody. Like, hey, come take a candy. Hey, whatever. And uh, I guess I walk like this <laughs> <laughs> like after hours, like <laughs> flailing, like flailing or- like a. Uh, the Kool Aid Man, I suppose, would yeah, be the, that's the best how way. Would to, work. The best way to describe it. And I just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was walking from one side of the building to the other, and I was flailing wildly, like I said, and I just <laughs> knocked the candy dish right off her desk. It shattered as a glass candy dish, shattered all over the floor. Given to her by her grandmother. It looked vintage and antique, so I, I feel bad, but it, it shattered all over the floor. She was gone, thankfully. There was only one other <laughs> one other person there, and that's I scared the shit out of her. And she was like, shots fired, shots she fired. was like, oh my god, what happened? And I'm like, oh my god, I broke this candy dish. <laughs> so there's glass all over the floor, there's coins and like candy all over the place, and you know, so we're we're sweeping it up and thankfully this very nice lady, Rosie, helped me clean it up. Yes. And and um so at that point I had to leave a note basically and said, uh, hi, this is like me. you hit someone's car. Exactly. And I had to say, I'm sorry. I, I, I accidentally bumped your desk. <laughs> I smashed With your my candy. Fat ass <laughs> arms. Right. Just because I walk like George Jefferson, <laughs> like with some swagger. And, um, but I said, I promise I'll replace it. So this happened like on a Thursday. Here's my insurance info. <laughs> right. It happened like on a Thursday. So Friday morning I came in and she's just giving me this look. <laughs> I mean, she, she was playing along. Of but course. She, but she was just like shaking her head at me. And she was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? <laughs> and I said, I promise you I will, I will replace it. So I, I looked it up and I found that candy dish. Um, and it's, a, it's actually a Dollar Tree candy dish. Really? Yes. So it was like $2 at most. So I looked it up online and I found it. I hit up a Dollar Tree, not there. Fuck. Went to another Dollar Tree, not there. Shit. Tried another Dollar Store just to see if they had something similar. Why not? Nothing. Balls. I went to Walmart. I went to Target. I went to, what is this? Uh, I forgot. I went to another place. I, I considered going into Pier 1. Big Lots. No, yes, I tried Big Lots. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's what I'm here for. I considered Pier 1, but then I realized I'm not a millionaire, so I mm-hmm. did not. Mm-hmm. I just You walked in I and immediately walked, walked out. out. So I could not. Dude, if you were to ask me, like, the day before I broke a candy dish, hey, Pete, how hard is it to go and find a candy dish? <laughs> I would have been like, I'll be right back. Like, 15 <laughs> minutes round trip. I'll bring you the badass boss fucking tits candy dish you've ever seen I would nope like a tits candy dish please. nope 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 it is not easy to find a glass with a covered candy dish so what i ended up how doing, inviting is a closed candy dish i i don't know but i wanted to replace exactly what i broke very you know, well I'm, then. I'm trying I'm trying to be you know human about it so I couldn't find it, and I finally went into the store called... Robots don't give a shit about candy dishes. <laughs> let's give that... Let's just well, point yes, that out. Well, that's true. So I went into uh, this place called Home Goods. Okay. I think it's there next to the, the old Target over there on the expressway. And it's kind of like a Pier 1, but like mm-hmm. lower, lower mm-hmm. class, I guess. Yeah. Not as foofy, foofy, foofy. Yeah. Um, Excellent description <laughs> of Pier One. I think that's their tagline. Pier One. Foofy, foofy, foofy. 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 And <laughs> so I looked in there, couldn't find shit. And by this point, I'd already invested two hours of my Sunday in, into that. 
Uh, so I went. Is this today? No, no, no. This was last okay, week. Okay, yeah. Uh, my Mother's Day is how I <laughs> is how I spent I spent it looking for a fucking candy dish. Um, so I went and uh, I couldn't find it there. So what I decided to do was I went to the bathroom department, the bathroom accessories. Yeah, and uh, I got one of those like little square jars with the lids on it yeah. for cotton balls or Q-tips uh-huh. or something. Okay, it was about the same size. All right, it had a nice lid. This I, is lining up perfectly. I bought it. I bought nice. it. Nice. And uh, I, I, I took the extra step, and I filled that back up with candy. Look at you, you sweetheart. <sighs> yep. And I went and I left it on her desk and uh, with a note that said, this is the best I could do. I'm very sorry. Um, <laughs> please don't hate me. But this, and I said, you know, if, if, you're, say, if you're saying to yourself, this kind of looks like one of those cotton ball thingies, <laughs> it's because it is a cotton ball thingy. And, uh, you know. I ain't too proud to beg, and I'm sorry. So, she accepted the apology. She accepted the candy dish slash cotton ball holder. <laughs> you know, that's that's improvising. That's recycling, probably. Right. Not really, because you had to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, that happened, too. But, anyway. Anything else? That was a great story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Oh, um, I tried to make a Twix blizzard. And I failed horribly. That's because you didn't have that stand-up mixer. That's true. Maybe now, now you can conquer the Twix. You'd blizzard. need like a blender or one of those no. like hand blenders. Dude, you spent three hundred dollars on that goddamn thing. You got to get some usage out of I'm it. I'm not gonna put like for a small cup of Blizzard. I'm gonna dump my whole ice. That is an industrial. That was a sentence. What was that? <laughs> that is an industrial. Okay. Mixer. Okay. Well, let's make an industrial size <laughs> Twix blizzard. Uh, but yeah, I was like, okay, let me just Google it real quick. What's in what's in a, a Twix bar? Caramel, chocolate, cookie, specific type of cookie, butter cookie. Okay. And I was like, I've never heard of that. I probably have seen it. So I went over to the Walmart. I got the, the, the caramel syrup. I got some ice cream. <coughs> and, um, and I just needed the butter cookie because I already have chocolate syrup. Done. It's so fucking hard to find a butter cookie. <laughs> I had to buy like a small, like a fancy tin of butter cookies. Oh, like those Danish cookies? Yes, oh, exactly. Those are amazing. They're delicious, but I was gonna obliterate them in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I fucking, I guess this is the best I can do because I went up and down the cookie aisle. With I was, I looked desperate and disgusting and other duh words. <laughs> it was embarrassing. I'm like. This guy has been in the cookie aisle for going on 20 minutes. (laughs) This guy's got to be high. (laughs) Well, that's cool. Then, then, well, let's, let's go make some of those. Well, I tried it and I fucked up. It was terrible. It was ugly. I think you just needed, you needed me. You need me to to best support. Yeah. I need, I just need somebody to be there to, because Alyssa wasn't there for shit. (laughs) She's like, go ruin our kitchen, you dick. Oh, cool. That's what she says before I cook every meal. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm not washing dishes. Um, Anyway, on that note, I want to thank you guys for joining us. That has been another installment of the Still Unnamed podcast. Um, Really appreciate uh, everyone listening, tuning in every week. I know Mark and I have... uh, have, uh, We like the fact that we're being heard. You know, just two dumbasses talking about nothing dumbassing it up right so on behalf of myself i'm pete Salas, along with mark sticks rodriguez there you go and uh special thanks to our sponsor chico's bail bonds and have yourself a very happy taco tuesday happy taco tuesday bye-bye